Good evening again everybody. Since I opened this file now, let's continue now our lecture about supermarket lighting design. So let's talk about the CRI for a supermarket because for a supermarket, you will play with different color rendering. So for example, uh, there is a fish section, vegetable, bread, and then the general merchandise. So what color temperature are we going to use for these different areas? Because one of the main consideration in designing a supermarket is to enhance the true color of the products. So for example, let's go and check. For example, you go to the vegetable section. It's really important that we use a warm color for a vegetable section because it enhances the true color of the vegetables if it's more warm color. If you can provide a high CRI, which is sometimes 90, it is fine, but if you can have 90 with 830, sorry, uh, 3000 Kelvin, then you are good to go to highlight your vegetable. And if it is for frozen goods like a fish or any frozen goods, then cool color is fine, like 4000 to 5000 Kelvin. And if it is bread, for example, then again, you need to go for a warm color to enhance the color of the crispy and delicious bread so yeah so you will play a different color temperature in a supermarket project all right it's not only one color but two or three if it's a meat section you can play with um, 2700 kelvin if you if you want your meat to be more reddish or redder all right so um yeah so for example this project right now i'm working with this is a supermarket unfortunately it doesn't have meat section only fruits and veg and the general uh, merchandise so for the general merchandise i use 4000 kelvin and some spotlights and um, shelf lights and symmetric lights and for the counter or cash counter area I use the same 4000 Kelvin but here in this vegetable section and so fruits and vegetables section I choose to have the uh, 3000 Kelvin spotlights to enhance the color of uh, the vegetables and fruits all right so that's it these are some of the tips and tricks for a supermarket lighting design so if you want to know more go and visit my website with my some tips and tricks and visit also my youtube channel and of course my online courses in udemy so that's it and see you again next video